how do you know what's going on? You sure can't know it sitting up in the C-suite. And uh, I'll give you a good example. When Ramon Lagarde came CEO of PepsiCo, he opened up and went to a totally open office environment, let everyone come in and out. He went to the cafeteria for lunch, just talking to people, getting to know them, spending a huge amount of time out. Uh, it's a global organization of 300,000 people, out with the people. And, uh, and that has really resulted in a tremendous amount of inspiration because when you visit stores, it isn't just that store everyone else hears about. Same with people in the retail field. If the leaders don't get out there, they'll not know what's going on. And you see that in area organizations like Delta Airlines, what they've done with their employees is it, spectacular and how they got their employees folks and their customers. You feel better than you do when you fly some of the other airlines because you're treated really well. But I think the leaders have to get out at all levels and spend time on the front lines with their people. And if they don't do that, they're going to be insulated and isolated. They're just looking at data in their office. They'll never know what's really going on. And they'll have all kinds of problems that they won't really understand them. So I would say cut your meeting time down maximum half an hour. Stop these two and three and four hour meetings and get out with your people. And just put that on the calendar first. Because otherwise the, the meetings will fill up your calendar and you won't say, I don't have any time. I've had leaders. I had a leader of an organization with a couple million people say, I don't have time to get out there. You don't have time not to get out there. That's what I told because we run a lot of CEO programs at Harvard. You've got to be out with your people. That's the key to everything.